Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less, I'm Elliot Morgan. I was fixing my hair. Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less, I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. Cell phone company Nokia, which apparently still exists, has decided to patent a magnetic vibrating tattoo. The device has material which is attachable to the skin and can pick up a signal from a magnetic field, then transmits that signal to a person by the device that they're wearing on their skin. By linking this device to a cell phone, those with these ferromagnetic devices, either tattooed, sprayed, stamped, taped, or even drawn on their skin, will be able to receive alerts through vibration. The application for the patent claims that a square device would fit on an arm, abdominal area, or even a fingernail. The stimuli sent to the device would be customizable as well. For example, someone with these cell phone tattoos we get a long pulse for an email, a short one for a text, and a series of short ones if the phone was about to die. Because nothing seems a little bit more annoying than tiny short pulses while you're looking for a battery charger. Ha! Ha! Does anyone have a battery charger? Ha! A ba battery ow, charger? Ow, 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 Does anyone ow, ow, have one? Well, Lee, I think I like this invention a lot more when it was called the Mark of the Freaking Beast. Ooh, well said, Elliot. Shall we begin? Let's. We see exactly what you're doing here, Nokia, which spelled backwards is Akon, who sings about sluts, which is synonymous with whores, the whore of Babylon, spoken in the Book of Revelations alongside the number of the beast, or the mark of the beast, if you will. Elliot, go. Thank you, Lee. Well, a futurist view of the mark of the beast is that the rise of the supernatural currency could be a hallmark of the end times, that the mark of the beast will be a sign on the forehead and or upper side of the hand. Some believe the implantation of the chips may be the imprinting of the mark of the beast prophesied to be a requirement for all trade. And if you are having any doubts about the validity of my statements right now, relax, okay? I got it from Wikipedia. A permanent mark on your body that can notify you of text messages? Hmm, I remember when phones were actually just used to make calls and send text messages. But now you can buy things on them, communicate via video, and basically sell your soul if you want to. Also, most people don't know this, but if you hold a Nokia up to your ear long enough, you can actually hear the people making fun of you. Huh. That's not to mention the fact that Nokia will supposedly allow these tattoos to be customizable using the ferromagnetic ink. So you can finally get that 666 tattoo you've wanted for so long. Basically, the ink is demagnetized and then tattooed into your skin into whatever pattern you want. So you're part human, part antenna. And then it gets remagnetized by running a magnet over yourself several times. So you hear that, Antichrist? We don't even need you anymore. We got Nokia. So go at it, heathens! As for me, I prefer my flesh non-vibrating and of the non-eternally damned variety. So if you were to get a tattoo, what would you like it to be able to do for you? Maybe let you know you have a text, buy things, or maybe just punch your ticket to hell. Leave a comment down below. Click the annotation down below, go to sourcepad.com for our five daily stories and everything else we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Lee Morgan. <laughs> I got an email.